as they asked that something seemed off. Seemed like we had entered the wrong beer. Twenty twenty three, something about it felt like we had entered the air that wasn't new. But we couldn't turn back. Just stayed there consoling ourselves, eh, hey, bad beginning, makes a good end. There was an end. It was good. But at what cost? Big things happened in 2023. Coronation of King Charles, yeah. Commonwealth crowned its new head. Commonwealth. Who even called it that? Because wealth, at least not us. Anyway, Kong's King Charles, man. Didn't see it coming. My only issue, we have called you Prince Charles for too long. It's your brand. Bigger than anything they will ever call you. Why did you just allow to be the first king called Prince? It's been 74 years, man. That's your name. You were supposed to be King Prince Charles. Otherwise, you're forcing things. You have had your name longer than we have known you. We're going through with Dora Syndrome. Try not to call you Prince Charles. Like this Twitter X madness. There is no amount of money Elon can top up for people to stop saying. Have you seen Elon's tweet on X? Talking apps. There were more podcasts started in 2023 than WhatsApp groups. Everyone wants to tell us something. Then, let me take you back a bit. Back in 2019, a lady, Lata Tondon from India, set the record for the longest time cooking. Now, few people knew about this, and then there was peace in the world. Hilda Bassi learned of this, brought the matter to social media. That's where problems started. She broke the record but lost it before she could even finish washing the saucepans. Now, new record holder, Alan Fisher, before he could even call his relatives, tell them the good news, Mama D from Uganda had broken the record. Like, the only way to keep this record. Just don't stop cooking. Guess who stopped cooking? Mama, Mama D. D. Now, a Ghanaian chef is already on the way to break the record before my mother can even submit evidence. Dogoli Rimonsi. Asake said lonely at the top. None for cooker things. By the way, as a country, we have been on a Guinness record breaking speed. Raymond Kahuma made a Guinness World record for the biggest Rolex. Not the watch. I repeat, not the watch. A whole 200 kilograms. Faneru Ministries Church broke the record for the longest time clapping. A whole three hours, non-stop. And as Jesus was still amazed, are you caught faith? Hug the tree for 16 hours. By the way, she first broke the record 13 hours. As she was putting together the evidence, she realized there was a moment that the camera was not recording. She was like, in food days, you tree come back here. Hugged it again. 16 hours. Then May. Hey, there, there was not much activity in May, but we had the sound of a fall. No, let, let's just say it, it's not very wise for an elephant to sit on top of a tree. Back in school, you always thought you knew what you were doing until they brought the exam. That's when you realize that on all the questions, you can only answer part A. Let's just say you can't dance your way through a singing competition. Spin air validations coming out on the biggest names in show business. Statement after statement. The justice system just there wishing all these people we are close friends to Jetta Pinket. We would all be back to solving world hunger by now. Then I was there and my mom called and said, hey, no, why are you not like your friends? I was like, which ones? Sakurafu Akimi. Like, ah, mommy, you're too close to your church. Never. You see, in the Bible, there's a whole verse where God asks someone to sacrifice his son. Now, how about his son's wealth? I was like, mommy, let us just remain relatives. 2023, tragedies at sea. Cruel ways to be reminded to mind our own business. 
tragedy in African music. Threads, 15 seconds of fame. I won't even waste more time on you. Then Kenya surprised China. They called something that works fake. Like instead of just arresting the people that lost to him. By the way, employers, you need to choose a struggle. You keep telling us it is not what you studied, it is what you can do. What was hard to understand here? Football saw the end of eras. Wow. I really thought that this list would be bigger than this. Okay, let's just say, in Uganda we have a proverb that however old a plane gets, its metal will never be used to make charcoal stoves. I guess we spoke too soon. Ah, uh, no, I, you, you've put a wrong photo. That's the wrong person. Ah, uh, uh. Shall edit it in post. Boys to men came to East Africa, like excitement. We, we all dressed up, packed two hunkies each, went to the show. Yes, two hunkies, so, some even three. You see, when you go to a boys to men show, you, you expect to be calling your ex by song number five. Saying sorry and how it was your fault. Unfortunately, we didn't. No ex was called. Half the time, it felt like MC Hammer on stage. We should have sent a song list. And what's the recap without Harry and Megan? I know they told us something during 23. I just don't remember what. But I know they said something. I, I worry over time they might run out of things to tell us. They might need to first return home, say sorry, and gather us more stories. US presidential elections took shape. Very exciting season. But looking at the front runners, I think as a country, they are starting to take this thing of freedom of expression a little too far. Because the only way to allow this to, to run is maybe they say they identify as presidential candidates. Identifying is the only thing that turns out to never be questioned. To choose between Biden and Trump for president is like being asked between a wheelbarrow and a bicycle, what do you use for a plane? People identify themselves as a highlight of 2023. It's about how you feel inside. I just wish people in jail could jump onto it. We identify as innocent. War. There's been so much war. Coups, successful ones, unsuccessful ones, peaceful transfer of power. It's been a busy political scene. In Uganda, though, it's been calm, as always. Even our speaker got twins. We won't bid to host Africa Cup of Nations alongside Kenya and Tanzania. Yeah, team sport, so we're also going to host as a team. Apple, 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 Apple. <laughs> Apple! <laughs> this iPhone 15 will be the reason you won't go to heaven. The standout feature is something everyone already had. We were here expecting a camera that can take an X-ray, Maja Muzunga na charger. Then, everywhere you looked in 2023, there was something telling you to visit Rwanda. Visit Rwanda, visit Rwanda, visit Rwanda. Visit Rwanda everywhere. Hadi accept. I am going to visit Rwanda. I know I have seen visit South Africa, visit Dubai as well somewhere. But I think let us first visit Rwanda, get it out of the way. And we shall have peace. Then AI. <laughs> we were here in Uganda panicking about AI. Even AI was surprised. AI is taking our jobs. Which job, Musidam? Which job? Let's look at the bright side. Dissertations are now sorted. AI will just spend its life looking at you, not thanking it in your graduation speech. Even graduation is too far. Now parents can finally help with mathematics homework. On you. Bless you, AI. 2023 was another year to touch sports royalty. Then the Parliament of Uganda passed the Anti-Homosexuality Act. Pope Francis, on the other hand, allowed blessing of same-sex union. Okay, see, my opinion on this whole thing, um, I, I want to... No. Had an opinion. No, no. No, no. No, no. No, no. No, no. No, no.
had a nip 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 nip. Now 2023 is over and for another year running, the resolution you have fulfilled was, you didn't die. That's good enough. Happy New Year.